It's Friday, it's May the 9th. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. A great start to the day across southern Ontario. We could see some active weather firing up again. We saw some storms last night through the GTA as that warm front pushed in. We've got a lot of instability through the atmosphere this afternoon. I'll talk about that coming up in a moment. But first, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in beautiful Barrie, Ontario. Kevin? What do you think? I agree. Rain jacket for sure, just in case. Because of that instability, we do have the risk to see a few isolated thunderstorms. We've got hot, muggy air coming in ahead of that cold front. And once that cold front hits, that's where we could see that convection. Not a lot of rainfall with the cold front, less than 10 millimeters. But of course, if we do see some thunderstorm activity, the rainfall amounts will be higher. The rain will move out throughout the day. Tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine. Temperatures getting up to 19 degrees. And the forecast looks great for Mother's Day. A mix of sun and cloud and a daytime high of 16. This Thanks for that, Greg. Again, there is the risk for tornadic activity stateside. We'll talk more about that coming up. It's Friday. It is the 9th of May. I'm Emily Vukovic. We're joining Kevin Yard in beautiful Barrie, Ontario this morning. Down by the water, Kevin, are you going to convince anybody to let you ride on one of their yachts today? Yeah, sure. What do you think? I don't know, Kevin. My threshold and your threshold, probably a little different. Shorts and t-shirt for me? needs to be close to 30. <laughs> I, today was the first day I didn't wear a jacket. Tom is calling my bluff because I wore a sweater that looked like a jacket. But anyways, I digress. Isolated severe thunderstorms possible throughout the GTA today. That warm air that Kevin was just mentioning, that warm, soupy air, that is going to cause some instability in the atmosphere. Now, we do have a rainfall forecast. We're looking at about 10 millimeters of rain when that cold front moves through tonight. It is going to clear out throughout the day tomorrow. We've got mild temperatures again, 19 degrees for the city of Toronto. Sunday for Mother's Day, 16 degrees with a mix of sun and cloud. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. It is May the 9th. We've got warm temperatures coming our way today. We're going to be seeing daytime highs flirting with 20 degrees, but we could see some thunderstorms. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but first let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in beautiful Barrie, Ontario this morning. Kevin, those are some nice boats behind you. All right, thanks so much, Kevin. That's so nice being serenaded during your forecast. <laughs> we do have the cold front that's going to be moving through tonight. It is going to bring us about 10 millimeters of rain. Of course, if we do see thunderstorms this afternoon, there is a higher risk of uh, higher rainfall amounts. We are going to be seeing some sunshine tomorrow, daytime high of 19, and sunny conditions for Mother's Day, a high of 16. Hi there, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday, it is May the 9th. Smell the beautiful flowers. Today is going to be a great day to get out. Very similar to yesterday. We saw lots of sunshine. Temperatures got up to about, well, 15 to 18 degrees, depending on where you were. But I think a lot of people were not complaining. I think a lot of people really enjoyed getting out and soaking up some sunshine. It has been too long. We have waited too long for these temperatures. The good news is that we're going to see these temperatures again today. It is going to be a little bit warmer away from the lake, just like yesterday, where Toronto Island only hit 15, but then Pearson was close to 19 degrees. Hamilton only hit 13.7. Seasonal for this time of year is closer to about 17. Kitchener, 23 degrees. 27 is what it's going to feel like today. In through London, feeling closer to 25, and Toronto should feel closer to 24 degrees. Now, we do have that soupy, kind of muggy air coming in that could give us a few isolated thunderstorms. Top five videos, of course, you can check them all out online at our website, weathernetwork.com. It's Friday, it's the 9th of May. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us. Kevin Yard is in Barrie, Ontario this morning, enjoying a lovely start to the day. Kevin, how's it going? Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. We do have the potential for a little bit of active weather today. We've got that kind of mild, soupy air moving through. So this afternoon, we'll see a daytime high of 20. It'll feel like 24 when you factor in the humidity. And because of that soupy air mass, that's the risk for some isolated, possibly even severe thunderstorms. If we do see severe cells fire up, the biggest threat is going to be very strong, damaging winds, and the potential is there for a little bit of hail. This rain that'll move through tonight, this is along the cold front. We could see higher rainfall amounts, of course, if we do see some thunderstorms. By tomorrow, it is going to start to clear. We're going to see some sunshine. Temperatures getting up to 19 degrees. Sunny for Mother's Day, seeing a daytime high of 16. And then rain moves in for early next week. 
Friday. It's May the 9th. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. A great start to the day across southern Ontario. We could see some active weather firing up again. We saw some storms last night through the GTA as that warm front pushed in. We've got a lot of instability through the atmosphere this afternoon. I'll talk about that coming up in a moment. But first, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in beautiful Barrie, Ontario. Kevin? I agree. Rain jacket for sure, just in case because of that instability, we do have the risk to see a few isolated thunderstorms. We've got hot, muggy air coming in ahead of that cold front, and once that cold front hits, that's where we could see that convection. Not a lot of rainfall with the cold front, less than 10 millimeters, but of course, if we do see some thunderstorm activity, the rainfall amounts will be higher. The rain will move out throughout the day. Tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine. Temperatures getting up to 19 degrees, and the forecast looks great for Mother's Day. A mix of sun and cloud and a daytime high of 16. Pretty amazing video, isn't it? Thank you, Dr. Forbes, for that. Let's uh, go and take a look at our conditions.